Today I will talk about Paget disease of bone Osteitis Deformans Paget disease is a condition of increased, but disordered, and structurally unsound, bone. This unique skeletal disease can be divided into three sequential phases. 1. An initial osteolytic stage. 2. A mixed osteoclastic osteoblastic stage, which ends with a predominance of osteoblastic activity and evolves into 3. A final burned out quiescent osteosclerotic stage. Pathogenesis. Current evidence suggests both genetic and environmental causes of Paget disease. Approximately 50% of familial Paget disease and 10% of sporadic cases harbor mutations in the SQSDM1 gene. Of note in this regard, cell culture studies have shown that infection of osteoclast precursors with viruses such as measles or other RNA viruses alters vitamin D sensitivity and IL-6 secretion, both of which can lead to increased bone resorption. Clinical features Paget disease is monostatic in about 15% of cases and polyostatic in the remainder. Pain localized to the affected bone is a common symptom. Pain is caused by microfractures or by bone overgrowth that compresses spinal and cranial nerve roots. Enlargement of the craniofacial skeleton may produce leontiasis, osseo, lion face, and a cranium so heavy that is difficult for the person to hold the head erect. Weight-bearing causes anterior bowing of the femurs. Morphology. Paget disease shows remarkable histologic variation throughout time and from site to site. The hallmark, seen in the sclerotic phase, is a mosaic pattern of lamellar bone. The jigsaw puzzle-like appearance is produced by unusually prominent cement lines, which join haphazardly oriented units of lamellar bone. In the sclerotic phase, the bone is thickened but lacks structural stability making it vulnerable to deformation and fracture. The findings during the other phases are less specific. The initial lytic phase is characterized by numerous large osteoclasts and resorption pits. The osteoclasts may have 100 or more nuclei. Osteoclasts persist in the mixed phase, but many of the bone surfaces are also lined by prominent osteoblasts.